Good? All right, I'm going to start now. Can we edit this out? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to, by the way. All right, so you have all your pieces. Everything is drilled. All right. Um, you're going to pre-drill all four of the little ones with the hand drill. Okay. This is just pilot holes so we don't split the wood. On one of the pieces, we're going to drill these two holes, and then we're going to cut. I will cut the slant on there for you. This is going to be the bottom piece once we assemble this. Okay. So I'm going to put that over there. All right. So we're going to take this middle piece out for a second. We're going to use these wire brads. Okay. It's like a finish nail. And what I like to do is get everything set up first. So I'll put this here. Everything. It happens. Okay. So while I'm doing this, while I'm talking, you can put those in the rest of them. Okay. Here's a few more for you. Okay. Next, I need to figure out where I'm going to put all of my pieces. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> this is going to be a great video. <laughs> All right. All right, Mr. Professor. Now, from the square side, you're going to have one piece on the bottom, one piece six and three, six and a half inches up from the bottom. It was six and one eighth when I measured your model. Well, maybe I got a little short. Anywhere between six and six and three quarters. I'm, I'm going to be okay. With so I need to put them in and the then, middle? yeah, that one too. But from the other side, from the side on the top. Oh. Yeah. And then another one at nine, nine and a half. Okay, so mark your pieces. Okay, I'm going to do six and a half on this one and nine and a half. You want to have the alignment of the bottom together. Okay, I'm just going to transfer this to the other side. You want to have some glue, whether you're using wood glue or Elmer's white glue, doesn't matter. We're going to put a little bit of glue here. I'm going to put it on the on the top side or the left side of the line that I just drew. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to put this middle piece back in temporarily. I want to have that as a spacer. We made this a little bit larger than it should be, than it needs to be, so that we have a little bit of a gap between the center pieces and the side pieces. We want this edge to be on the end of, of one piece and the end of this one on the edge of that same piece. And we're just going to press that down. Then carefully hammer that down. That's Do the same thing on the other side. You want to try to be as precise as possible. This way it keeps it neat. Okay. So next one. We'll just move up. Now I'm going to put the edge of it on the line and the end of it on the edge. Oh, that hole is crooked. And then the same thing, the end of this is going to be right on the edge. And when you're doing this, make sure you drill those holes perpendicular to the piece. And this last one goes on like this. Okay, so far so good. Flip it. This piece, the slant will point towards the square side. We're going to put it right over the middle piece. You don't need to measure on this one. Okay. I don't know what's now. going on over there. Okay. And then carefully again, nail that down. And this piece should fit back in. So this is a little bit tight. That's okay. I just take it over to the belt sander and smooth that out. But this is what it should look like when you're done. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, you can stop that.